sports as an antidote for violent extremism and the need to protect major sporting events against terrorism. That's one of the major themes of this year's UN Counterterrorism Office Forum in Doha, in partnership with the Qatari government. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for the opportunity to deliver a message to the international community on the importance of sports role as a vehicle in a continuing global battle of countering extremism. The timing couldn't be more crucial as the country approaches the final stages of preparation for the 2022 FIFA World Cup amid regional turmoil and international tensions. But the scope of the forum is much wider. Its purpose is to discuss how to provide the necessary technical assistance for more than 50 countries in their fight against terrorism and violent extremism. Qatar has provided the funding since it signed the partnership agreement with the UN in 2018. The partnership agreement between the state of Qatar and the UN's Office of Counterterrorism, signed in 2018 with the aim to support the office's strategic initiative for the period of five years, from 2019 to 2023, has laid the foundation for a broad-based, long-term partnership. Qatar's contribution of $15 million puts it at the top of the list of contributors to the office. Qatar says it wants the partnership to be an example for other countries. It's important to diversify the support that comes from other member states, from different regions to UNOCT. This is a key partnership, this is a key entity within the UN system, and we need to support, support it through, through, of course, supporting the uh, core contributions to, to, to UNOCT and, of course, strengthening the partnership through the five offices that has been established under your leadership. There is a renewed focus on security as the 2022 World Cup draws closer. The first such event in the Middle East, where nearly half a dozen countries are rocked by internal conflict and instability. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, Doha.